Hey folks, welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. It's me, Jason. Today we're gonna be doing some St. Louis style ribs on, on what else other than the pit barrel cooker. Sorry folks, I, I don't I can't imagine myself cooking ribs any other way than my pit barrel cooker. I can cook it on my Weber for sure, but as far as flavor goes, it just I love my Weber. But as far as flavor goes, it doesn't compare to the pit barrel cooker when it comes to ribs. So let's get it done, baby. Alright folks, so what I'm going to do, as always, I'm going to start off first with my salt and pepper mix. I always start off my cooks with salt and pepper. I don't know if y'all can tell here, but I actually left the silver skin on today because last time I did some ribs, I had an accident and uh, one of my ribs broke off and fell into the charcoal. And and because, because I took, the, uh, I took the, uh, the silver skin off. And I think that's the reason why that that happened. So this time I'm not taking the silver skin off. It should give me some more stability. I did score it though, so I can get plenty of smoke penetration in there. Done. What smoke penetration? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say woman. Well, how do I describe that? To no you? Uh, scoring. Oh uh, well, scoring. In case I don't know if I'm answering this for my wife or for anyone out there who might not know what scoring is. That's when you just take a knife and just make cuts oh. all over. That's all the scoring is. Nothing. Oh. It's just a fancy word for cutting or slicing or whatever. But uh, I'm going to use uh, Uncle Steve's thick meat. I've never used this before. This is my first time to use the thick meat. So I'm about to give this a try on these ribs and I'm really excited about this. I know it's got plenty of black pepper in there. And man, I am a, I am a fan of black pepper. Oh. So I'm going to just be real liberal with that, folks. Sometimes I'm like, dang, this is spicy. And he's like, I only put salt and pepper on it. I'm like, how much pepper on that bottle? Oh, man, I'm a pepper uh, boy. It's good, though. I, I am a pepper, pepper boy. So I'm going to just give that a pat in. I don't know if y'all don't, don't know me. I don't believe in rubbing your rub in. I believe in patting it in. Bring my aluminum foil with me, I guess. All right, now we'll hit this other side. And be careful with the salt, folks, especially on ribs, because these ribs, you know, ribs only have a certain amount of meat on there. It's not like a brisket or a pork butt. So you definitely don't want to over-salt it. That's a good way to kill your meat, man. Over salting it. Okay, then I'll go back and hit it with Uncle Steve's thick meat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, man. You're gonna get me in trouble. Uh. Damn it, Uncle Steve. <laughs> we got a funny girl over here, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna put you. I'll put you in timeout after this. Okay. <laughs> I want to go in timeout. <laughs> All right, just give that a pat in, folks. All right, folks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this out to the pit barrel cooker, and then um, next time I see y'all, I guess y'all be seeing me putting it on the barrel. <laughs> All right, folks. All right, folks. So I got the ribs on now. Um, 
I don't I, I forgot to tell you but I'm cooking with mesquite wood today uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it just because I don't know how well mesquite is gonna go with with pork ribs but um, I'm confident that it'll turn out good though I've never actually cooked mesquite with pork ribs before but um, I'm we'll, we'll see how it turns out I'm, I got I got my hopes up I'm expecting something good but uh, I'll probably be back out here in a couple hours to um, to uh, sauce up my ribs and then uh, and then we'll go ahead and cut into these folks all right all right folks this has been on here for about two hours i just want to take a look at it and see how far along we are a lot of times with this pit barrel cooker these ribs cook quite fast and uh let's see uh this still got a little i'll say i'll give it about another hour or so i'll probably give about another hour sorry folks that's my my son out here playing around i'm gonna give this about another hour and then uh, after that, I'll probably give it a saucing. And then, uh, <laughs> and then hey, I'm a country boy. And then uh, we'll let the sauce tack up and then we'll take it inside and see how we did. All right, y'all. All right, folks. So this has been on here for about three hours now. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it, give it a saucing. <laughs> yes, Sorry, that's country funny. boy saying saucing. That is funny. My wife's a Yankee, okay, so she don't understand my, my country no lingo. Yankee. You're from Pennsylvania, girl. You're a Yankee. That doesn't mean I'm a Yankee. So what I got here, folks, is I got some sweet baby ray sauce uh, and mixed in with some vinegar to, to thin it out a little bit. That's that honey chipotle sweet baby ray. That stuff's banging. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's got the perfect amount of heat to it. And I don't like to... Uh, most people... Well, not most people, but... Some people like to just paint it on. I don't like to do that because of leaves the streaks on there, the the brush streaks. I don't like that, so I just kind of dab it on like this. And that usually does pretty good for me, folks. So I'll just dab it on all around, get it nice and pretty. I usually don't. I usually don't sauce the backside. I don't usually waste my sauce on the backside of the ribs. Especially since I got the, uh, I left the silver skin on there, so I'm definitely not going to worry about it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sauce this other one, folks. I won't bore y'all with that. And then next time I see y'all, we'll go ahead and cut into these. All right, y'all. All right, folks, we're all done now. I got both racks done. Uh, so let's go ahead and cut it up and let's see how we did. Um, this is the first rack right here. I love the color on it. The bark looks nice and good. Love the color from the barbecue sauce. Oh, that's don't. better. That's why. There you, okay. You don't got. I don't got too much pullback on the on the ribs. I got a little bit of pullback right there, but that's all right. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut into these. I like to flip mine over so I can see the so I can see the bones. I guess I'll start about right here. Sometimes these sometimes these bones will curl on me, and I'll be having a difficult time trying to cut trying to find where the where the bones are and where they aren't okay so far those are cutting pretty good just cut one more right here okay just flip these over right, let's try this one. Oh, look at that smoke ring that's from that mesquite wood folks that mesquite wood loved a great smoke wing so uh, we can go smoke ring i like that that's damn that almost penetrated through the whole damn thing man and see when i scored when i scored that up can i don't know if you can I, tell as i'm lifting up the camera you keep lifting it up oh my bad man i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know if y'all can tell there through, with the camera because my camera is pretty crappy but uh they, it penetrated through that silver skin that smoke did because i scored it so i got a great smoke ring there but anyways though folks let me shut up now and we'll go ahead and bite in you want to try one of these i can't with the camera oh okay well I guess it's I'll just try me, it. folks. I'll <laughs> try it in a second. But here we go. Mmm. Yeah. Perfect bite, man. Not fall off the bone, but bite off the bone. That's what you're looking for. I don't know if y'all can tell there, but still a ton of juice in there. Take another bite. Mmm. Very good. Let's cut in this other rack. Move this to the side. Sorry, folks. Oh, that's so rad. Let me uh, get this other rack over here. Sorry, folks. That was my hook. 
I threw it into the sink so it can get washed. I didn't chop my elbow off. <laughs> but uh, that's that's what the second rag looks like. Beautiful. Got a nice big hole there where the hook was. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this and let's. Now I know we did the same thing to this, but I just I just like to show y'all both racks. I know it's gonna be the same way, same taste and everything. But we want to make sure that we got both racks good. See, on this one's got some curly bones. I can tell because I'm already hitting the bone. I don't like it when my spare ribs do that. I expect that out of um, I expect that out of baby backs, the curly ribs. But I don't like for my spare ribs to do that. So I'll have to lift it up like this and cut it like this. Makes it easier for me. Yeah, these are curling like crazy. Cut off one more piece here, folks. I won't bore y'all with the whole with the whole rack. Alright. Let's uh see how we did on this one. Whoop, look at that smoke ring. That one went almost the whole way through. That's a sexy smoke ring right there, folks. Alright, let's uh see how we did on this one, huh? Is that sauce it good or what'd you say? Mmm. <laughs> That sauce, that sweet baby rays with honey a little chipotle. bit of vinegar mixed in there, the honey chipotle. That's aces, folks. Mm. See? Not bite off the, not fall off the bone, but bite off the bone. Perfect rib, folks. I'm happy with that. Folks, I'm very impressed with that Uncle Steve uh, thick meat. Man, that was delicious. I appreciate that, Uncle Steve. That was some delicious rub, man. If you haven't tried it, please, folks, get out and try it. I'm And like I said, I'm... I'm I always praise that pit barrel cooker. That pit barrel cooker is amazing, especially with ribs. Uh, if you, I know most of you probably already have one, but if you haven't, I do urge you to get one. It's only going to up your game, man. It's amazing. Folks, um, that mesquite wood went so good with these ribs. I was very impressed. I've never used mesquite before with, with uh, pork ribs, but that gave it an amazing flavor. That with that Uncle Steve's uh, thick meat, that's where it is, folks. Listen, folks, I appreciate you all watching. God bless you all. To all my new subscribers here, I, I appreciate you watching too. If you can, just like and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell. And for those of my loyal subscribers who are always watching me, man, thank you all so much, man. Y'all are wonderful, man. I don't know what I'd do without y'all. I love you all, man. God bless you all. <laughs> uh, and y'all have a great day. Keep it simple, baby.